Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, I'm not too sure this video is gonna turn out to anything. Me and little girl, we just got home from work. And when I pulled into the parking lot, put my car in neutral, we were just sitting there and it was just idling up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And um, I raised the hood and let it cool down for a second. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be my IAC, idle air control valve. This is the idle air control valve right here. I'm just making sure. Uh... So all the plugs, all the wires, everything seemed fine. We're just gonna pull off the uh, idle air control valve real quick. Check it out. I'm probably gonna disconnect that battery and reset. I didn't pull any codes, but if there's anything stored in there, I'm just gonna go ahead and reset it all. Reset the computer. What tools you got? You got a needle nose and two wrenches? Hey, good job. Hold my hand? Come here. Make sure you hold those tools tight, okay? You got them? No. Oh, yeah? No. Before we do anything, what we're going to do, we're going to put you in that passenger seat, and we're going to see how the car runs just by starting it up real quick. It's been cooled down for about... 10 15 minutes now, right? Yeah. Here, come jump on in. Comfy? All right. <clears throat> All right, so I do not have a tackle meter so you're not gonna be able to see what the rpms will be doing but i'm sure you'll be able to hear it if she's idling funny let's see what she's doing Checking on my vacuum lines, make sure everything's sealed. Um, I don't have any brake cleaner right now to spray them. Just, you know, the next best thing to do is pull that IAC off, maybe even replace it. What? You got them? Careful. I believe the next best thing to do would be uh, pulling off that IAC valve. All right, I got the master mechanic over here goofing off, huh? What's that about? <laughs> we just pulled off the idle air control valve. It was one, two bolts. They're both 12 mil bolts. And there's a second one right there on the little bracket. You can see a little better now. But this is the idle air control valve. And it looks pretty uh, wore out. Also, I noticed that there's a lot of gunk around here and also inside there it's pretty uh, disgusting and also I was peeking down here and that little vacuum line right there on that right side the clamp's not even on it and it looks like it could slide up just a hair more so we are I'm gonna grab um, some carb cleaner and a q-tip clean this up as much as I can pull that clamp on up with the, along with the hose Make sure it's sealed. What are you doing, crazy? What are you doing? What's up, man? Thank you. And what we're gonna do after that, we're gonna leave it unplugged and we're gonna crank the car to kind of reset the idle air control valve. And then we'll cut the car off, plug up the plug again, and then start the car again, see if it uh, restarts it or not. 
All right, we just tore apart the house looking for some either brake cleaner or carb cleaner, nothing. So if I need to, I'll run to the store here in a second, but what we're gonna do, grab some uh, Q-tips, clean it the best we can, seal that hose, clamp it properly. See some birds? <laughs> Crazy. Stay over here by daddy. I wish you guys could see a little bit better what I'm doing. This is right where the IAC sits in. See those two holes? Those are those two holes. There's the bolt hole and there's another bolt hole right there. I'm just trying to wipe it down, kind of clear any uh, debris that's in the way. Where are you going, little girl? You can go mobbing out in the streets with a little bike. Uh, that's about as good as I can do without any cleaner. So now. I'm just gonna do pull that hose up clamp it a little better keep it unplugged crank her over all right I got the uh, IAC mounted back on like I said we're, we're gonna leave it unplugged we're gonna crank it over let it run for 60 seconds you just got all the doors open dude huh oh I still got the battery unhooked hold on Let's sit right there now the battery's hooked up. Let's try this again. Say, Minnie must sit. Take care of that wrench you got. That's a whole 12 mil. Oh, look at me. Turn my blinkers on. Ready? See, we got it unplugged right now. We got our check engine light on. Let it run 60 seconds. No touch. There she is. Plugged up. Now let's see uh, if we can get her on track. All right, the IAC is plugged in. Watch out. about completely warmed up. I'm gonna tap the gas and see if uh, she does. Okay, that's good. Do it again. Good. All right. We're gonna rev this one a little higher 
this time. I think we're golden, boys. So if you are having the same issues with your vehicle um, and just wiping it down quick and resetting your IAC doesn't do it, I would consider just getting some brake cleaner, um, cleaning your IAC and clean your throttle body even. Uh, if you do clean your IAC, hold the motor sitting upwards so that way those two little holes, they kind of just drain out by themselves and you don't get brake cleaner or you know carb cleaner all up in the motor of it. Clean those, wipe them down good, and, you know, reset them. Check your vacuum lines, spray them, make sure the car is, is actually sealed completely. Um, just go from there, just, you know, step one, step two, step three, and keep troubleshooting until you get it. But that seems to be uh, what my car needed, was just a quick wipe down and a quick reset. So um, if anything else changes, uh, I'll update you guys and uh, say thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Extremely tired. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one